Hello everyone, welcome back to Slay the Spire. So, we have done runs with the Ironclad, the Silent, the Defect. We have not yet done a Watcher run. And I've been kind of putting that off because I'm bad at the Watcher. Like, if you just look at my at my Ascension levels, I'm at 8, 7, 9, 4. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. Anyway, why don't we go ahead and give it a try? So, the Watcher starts with a relic that gives you a miracle into your hand. It doesn't tell me what a miracle is, but I can tell you that it is something that gives me a free energy. And I can hold on to it for uh, as long as I want. We have a decent amount of HP, a bit less than some of the other classes. Our deck has four strikes, four defends, and two stances. And that's the mechanic that the Watcher is based upon these stances. So right now we're in neutral stance. We can enter Calm, which does nothing by itself, but when you leave Calm, you get two energy. So it's a good way of like getting some burst to go into Calm at first. And there are, you know, there are powers that make it so you end up being very defensive in Calm. In Wrath, you deal double damage and you receive double damage. So you don't want to take damage in Wrath. And this is where I fail at the game. I end up going into Wrath and then I get smacked really hard and end up not being able to carry the rest of the run. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Let's take a look at the map. So here's the Super Elite way out in the edge of the map with nothing after him. That's not a very tempting thing to go for. We have a late elite out here. Might want to go for it. Where are the rests? Got a double rest there. Got a double elite here. Triple elite. But no, no campfire before the elite. So my inclination... I guess is to go up, up this way, and we'll have to do a elite fight without any upgrades, and we'll see how that goes. And then we'll go up and either, either go on to this if we've had a good deck, or on to this if we need to develop our deck more. I would prefer to do the elite fights, but I'm not sure I can. So gain some money. Actually, that's an option. Where? We had a shop right here, or a shop right here, so we could go up this way and get that shop, and then do our same plans. Uh, okay. Removing a card is not very, not very great. I hate to lose max HP. A random common relic could be really good, but. Let's get some gold and see what we can turn it into. Risk reward. This might be the beginning of how our run dies. Alright, so let's just talk about this. If I were to erupt right now, I would deal 9 damage, probably to you. And then each of these would deal 12 damage. And I could then follow up and kill this guy. But this guy would be hitting me for 12 now. And I would only be able to block it for... Well, I'd, I wouldn't be able to attack with all of these. I would have to use my miracle to get the energy. It's safer just to kill this guy. And then defend twice against you. And then hope that next turn, where our hand will give us... Will be very defensive if we need it. Yeah, so kill this dude. Let's miracle it up. We'll take a small hit. Okay, he's not doing a major attack on me, but I will go ahead and put up Calm so that when we break it next turn or the following, we'll get um, some more energy. Alright, so he's not attacking me. I feel fine going into Eruption. So we get two energy for that. 
Now that hits for nine, and we can complete. Okay, follow up. If the last card play was an attack, get the ener get the cost of it back. Battle Hem, add a smite into your hand each turn, which is a retained card that will not and will not go away at the end of your turn, and does twelve damage. So it lets us kind of store up attacks until until we um get into eruption or fasting. Gain three strength, gain three dexterity, but you get less energy per turn, which is very sad. So this is going to cost two energy to get into it, and then one energy every other turn, every turn from then on. That's just, I don't know. Like, if I had a way to make artifact consistently, I might be willing to take that. But we'll go with the battle end. Okay. So, let's go into Vigilance. Into Calm. We could use a Miracle and then Erupt. That would deal 9 damage, which is not enough to kill one of these guys. And then we'd have 2 energy free to strike somebody. Um, so we could kill this one. And we would end up having a total of... We'd have enough energy to block again, so we'd end up with 13 block. But And this guy would be doing 12 damage to us. And then next turn we have to hope that we get a strike, which we almost certainly will. We're guaranteed to even. Let's try it. So... Eruption. Then kill you. Then defend. I think I'm bad at this class just because I'm bad at math. You have to be very careful doubling and adding things up and all that. I love a fire potion. Early in the... Early in Act 1. Perseverance. Gain 5 block. When you don't spend it, the block amount goes up. Every turn you don't spend it. Deal 20 damage. When you don't cast it, it gets cheaper. So... It's going to take four turns to actually be worth casting. Well, three turns. It would be worth casting at... It would be good casting at one. It would be worth casting at two. But... Fear Now Evil is a way to get back into Calm. Which I think is much more useful. In, in particular, it's a way of exiting Wrath. So... I'm, I'm looking at that. Okay, we can force ourselves into Calm this turn, which means when we erupt, probably next turn, we'll be able to get some smackdown on him. He's going to be hitting us next turn, and there's a chance that we're not going to get our defense. We might not get erupted either. We'll have to see. But I think that's the, that's the play. So we'll fear no evil, and we'll strike. You know, he wasn't trying to attack, so I'm not in Calm anyway. Never mind. That was a waste. Okay, so same sort of deal. If we were to erupt, if we were to, well, be Vigilance first and then erupt back out. And that would deal nine damage. And then we, well, so we do this, we'd be down to one. We'd have to Miracle, we'd back up to two. We'd be able to erupt and we'd still be at two. And then we could strike once. So that would deal nine damage and then another 12, which is not enough to kill you. We would have 8 block, and you'd be hitting me for 12. I think I think not worth it. Yeah, let's just Vigilance and battle him. And we'll hope things go better next time. So now this will get us back into Calm. So it would have not been terrible to end up in, in, uh, in, in Wrath last turn. We can deal 12 damage, 6 damage, 6 damage, 24 damage total from these three cards. We could use our fourth card to deal another 32 total, which is not enough to kill you. So, best just to get some defense up.
Now we do have to worry about scaling. This is going to be our hand next time. It's got an eruption. So I think we'll be able to kill you if we have... If we get strikes next time. Let me see. So, say we only end up with an eruption and a strike. And then the rest are defend. We'll have the smite. So the smite will deal 24 damage. The eruption itself will deal 9. So, 9 and 24 is not quite enough to kill you. If we get one of these two strikes, which we're guaranteed to, we'll be able to finish that. We'll be able to finish you. So yes, I don't think we need to take two damage here. Let's just go ahead and defend again. Okay, erupt. I forgot we got two smites. So yeah, that, that's not even in my head. At the end of your turn, shuffle an insight into your draw pile. Gives you two cards on demand. Crush joints. If the last card play was a skill, apply Vulnerable or Fasting, which we already rejected. So really, just do we want to? We do we want something that applies Vulnerable, but it's basically just a better strike? And I'm kind of thinking no. All right, let's see if that loss of HP at the start of the game was worth it. We have a Tori. We also have an ink bottle and a frozen eye. Now, the other unique mechanic of Watcher is scrying. There's a vault there. <laughs> um, that Tory gate there. So scry is gonna let us, here's scry. Scry is on this. It lets us look at our cards that we're gonna be seeing. Um, this would kind of it, it changes the value of all the card draw cards knowing what's going to show up the Tory gate's really good and I would love to get it like really love to get it but vault is amazing take an extra turn after this one it's not that good now because it costs three we can upgrade it to cost two but one thing it does is it like it lets our um, lets our battle hem um, make another smite. It lets us draw a whole new hand. Tantrum's also really good, and so is like water. I'm trying to decide whether I can walk away from the Tory. I mean, that just has such good use. Like think of it on the hard fight. Are we even gonna get to the hard fight though? I'm gonna go with cards. So we'll get a vault, we'll get a tantrum, and I like water. And do I want to get another fire potion or a power potion, perhaps? Or remove a card? Take an extra turn after this one. That's so good. <laughs> I'm going to take a fire potion, and I think that's setting us up to take the left path. Oh, actually, wait a minute. We still have money. We could buy... Oh, we can't take our card out. And I think we're good. I think that means we are going to go with this path. Try to kill the two elites and get some... Three elites and get some relics. Risk, reward, and all that. Remove a card from my deck and take damage. So I could get... We've added two attack cards. Let's get rid of a strike. I would really like to get, to, uh, get some upgrades, but we're not going that direction. Okay. There's our vault. We haven't upgraded it. And there's 
unfortunately there's kind of not a lot of advantage to it right now. Like later, once we have things in play, that would be more helpful. I mean, we could just kill one of these guys right now. Elite fights are hard. I need to early act one is hard, and I don't know. I don't know the character, so our next hand is probably going to have some way of getting into wrath. But at the same time, there's going to be two of them attacking. We could potentially have two ways of getting into calm. We'll just skip this turn, pretty much. Okay, we didn't get a single way of getting into Wrath, so next turn is going to be the Wrath turn. We're going to be able to go into Wrath and then come right back out of it at the end. So next turn will be a big thing. Let's give ourselves a Battle Hem. Let's make ourselves Vigilant. All right, let's make ourselves calm. So right now we're going to end the turn and we'll get 12 or 13 um, block. Do I want another five? Or should I just take the hit and expect this turn to be strong? I think I'm going to take the hit. Okay, so now we have a lot to do this turn. Um, so we're in calm. We're going to cast one of these two. It's tempting to do Tantrum. Just because it's cheap. But then it'll hit really hard. But I think we have Smites that will be able to hit for us. So that's... that's well... Let me think about this. So... We're going to play something and then we're going to end up with two more energy. So we could, let's just think about it this way. We could play this and it would cost nothing. Then we'd have three energy to play. That would be this, a smite, and a strike. Or if we were to tantrum, we would have four energy left. And we could do a smite, strike, fear no evil, and a defend. I think just going with the eruption is fine. And we might use our miracle. I mean, they both kind of do the same thing. They do 9 damage. And this one's cheaper. Ah. Bad hand, bunch of unplayable cards. We're already in vigilance. Or we're already in calm. Um I think just maybe just pass. Like that will that will keep us uh keep us not from getting hurt. Keep our smite for when we can jump into a different form. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna spend our smites now. Kill that guy off. And with only one of them left, there's not much challenge to the fight. So yeah, watch watch this. This is gonna be this is gonna be hilarious. I'll just tantrum. 
then we'll smite, then we'll vault, and now we'll smite. A shuriken! Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain a strength. Nice scale. Good thing to get this early. Another battle hem, a cut through fate, and a bowling bash. So this would be kind of like how we deal with AoE. Or we could get this, which is card draw. Or go for another battle hem, but I think... I think we're good on the... I mean, the retain, those smites are very powerful. I'd, I'd, it's so hard to know how to judge things. I'm going to go ahead and get the cut through fate. Well, see, this is why I have problems with this character. Uh, on the other classes, I look at a card choice, and I kind of know at least which is the bad card. And I can pick which of the two good ones are more appropriate to my current situation. What's the appropriate card for this situation? Like, we have two more elites to fight. Uh... Lagavulin might be here, or Grimlin Knob. Neither of those have AoE. We already fought the AoE elite. So, do we need a bowling bash for that? The boss is, uh, what's his name? The guy that, I don't even remember the name of the guy. But he doesn't have ads. So, there doesn't, there's no need for AoE on him. There, it, AoE fights in Act 2 are really important. Like the, the, the Grimlin troop. The guy that summons a bunch of Grimlin ads all the time. That would be really good. And this would be adding more battle, more smites, which are already really good. So it's kind of just like guaranteed we get it sooner, but we can already make this innate if we just upgrade it. So we don't really need two innate battle hems. That's not, that's over, overkill. But this is just another damage card that that's you do scry and draw on our card. I'm gonna I'm gonna take cut through fate. But that's Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of I'm playing around, not really not handling it well. That's Smith. So cut through fate, so that's a weak upgrade. This just does a bit more damage. Tantrum does an extra three damage. Vault makes this cheaper so we can actually use it more often or actually use it sometimes you get benefit like water is a bit more block eruption brings us down to one but we already have a tantrum this makes this innate which would be very good this is just more block I'm thinking the vault like we did not vault because it would have been pointless in that last fight this would have made it not pointless. Lagavulin. Okay, this is great. Uh, your first turn to, to get our um, <laughs> to to go ahead and get individual to get into calm and then cast these. It would be good. I'm gonna go ahead and burn our miracle just to get those in play. I think. So vigilance, like water, and we'll start building up. So a few smites. So it might have been better to spend our um, to spend our uh, what's it called on so this is tricky. <laughs> uh, next turn we're going to get a tantrum um, and uh, cut through fate so we'll be able to recycle our deck. The trouble is, I don't want to end up in Tantrum and have no way to get back. This, this, if we break your shield, you will not be attacking us, you'll be dazed. So, we could erupt, then we could cast a smite, and then vault. And then we'd have these cards. 
we'd have, be able to tantrum. We'd be able to cut through fate and get our tantrum back. And then we're going to take like 60 damage. It might have been better to to burn our um, to burn our vault on that turn, just to get Nectar Smite in hand. Uh, so this time, I think we do want to break him. We want to wake him up. We can hit him with two smites. We can tantrum and then hit him with two smites. But then we have no way of getting back. It just depends on our card draw. We'll have two ways of. So, the disaster hand would be if we draw defend, strike, strike, defend, eruption. We want one of these three to get us back into the good stance, or to, to give us the cards to get to the back good stance. I'm willing to take that chance. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. So, actually, actually, if we cut through fate right now, then our draw pile will be these cards. If we wait until the end, then cut through, then, um, well, wait a minute. Then we're going to tantrum. The tantrum will get back into our draw pile. Hmm. Hmm. I think I want to enrich our chance of getting a good card. So I'm going to go ahead and cut through fate first. There. And we drew a strike. Okay, so this will be our next hand. Um, one of these, well, we'll have at we'll we'll have at least a, a, one of vigilance, fear, no evil, and vault. We're not we'll have two. Well, we'll have at least one of them. The worst hand we could possibly get would be these four cards, and then one of those three on the next turn. That's not bad. That's that's a way back into into calm. So I'm going to go for it. Let's just push. I mean, we could just kill him right now, but that but I don't think we need to. Like after all that work I did thinking about it, I it kind of ended really easily. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget about the extra stri extra strike we're going to get or the extra whatever it is. Anyway, happy flower is great. Indignation if you are in wrath, apply vulnerable, otherwise enter wrath. So, it's another way of forcing ourselves into wrath. Cut through fate did an amazing job that last turn, but how often will that be the case? Flurry of Blows is just some extra damage whenever we change stances. That's kind of cheap. It's not bad to have one of these in our deck. Ancient T set. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with more energy. It's not a bad card, but it doesn't help on the heart. It does help on all the boss fights, but our first turn generally isn't that vital, and we already have our miracle. I'm going to go for the key, in the hopes that the following chests, the rest of the chests, will offer better things. Like, it's always painful when you get something like a mummified hand or whatever in a later... Um... Oh, interesting. I didn't think we'd fight these guys again. I guess you can't have them back-to-back, -back, but you can have them... As long as there's a different fight in between the two. Like, Gremlin Knob's hiding from us. <laughs> um... It's... Like, should I vault this time?
the disaster hand would be this these first five cards where we would have no way of getting back but it, but there's where's my vigilance oh there it is yeah. what, am I, what am I thinking we do have two ways in the calm I kind of wish I had that. See, this is why I was looking at that first shop and saying, oh, if we could get that, see the cards in the proper order, think of how much easier this would be to plan. I guess I'm going to say we have fire potions to save us if there's a problem, and I'm going to risk going in the tantrum. And then vaulting. Should I like water also? I kind of want to save it. Yeah. So... Okay, we got a flurry of blows. We got a fear no evil so we can get back into calm. Uh, if we attack this one, so we can't kill this one this turn. We get our flurry of blows back. And then we can defend and we'll still take damage. I could miracle and not take damage. I think that's probably for the best. I probably should have miracle last turn and got the like water in play. Oh well. So this is a pretty obvious one. We, we, we definitely want a tantrum here. Get our flurry of blows back. Then we can cut through fates. Get our tantrum back again. And finish the fight. We get a blood vial at the start of each combat, heal two. We get a fruit juice potion. Now here is my frustration. I wish I could just eat this right now, but I have to discard one of these. So I can take this and drink it. All right, whenever you enter Wrath, draw two cards or another like water. If you are in calm, gain block. And apply mark. Whenever you apply a mark, every enemy loses their mark's damage. So if you can just cycle this one card, they take eight damage, then 16, then 24, and 32, and so on. But I am the only the only enemy in the game that that would be good on would be well no two giant head and the heart <laughs> nothing else needs that and it's kind of like a card that scales by itself if you have enough of them and can draw it consistently so I think instead I'm gonna go with one of the other two we already have a like water I'd love to have more like waters but rush down would let us make that um, would let our stance flipping be more powerful. Like, I'm always worried when I go into Wrath, will I be able to get back? And this will mean it's more likely we will. So again, here I am. Will I be able to get back if I tantrum this turn? If I tantrum this turn, I'll deal nine damage. And then this would then deal what? Wait a minute. This would deal 18, which is not enough to kill this guy. He'd be at one HP. So we'd have to miracle. Let's let's tantrum and then cut through fate and see what we get. Too late for both of these, I'd say. So we got an hour strike. Okay. We got a vault. So let's go ahead. That's um that's vigilance. And then vault. Okay, this is perfect. We'll flurry, tantrum, 
Flurry. Spear. And then we could flurry again. Reach Heaven. Shuffle a through violence, which is a zero point card that does 20 damage. But would need us to spend two earlier, and it just shuffles it into your draw pile. Scrawl, draw until your hand is full. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to get the scrawl. Like I said, the problem I'm consistently worried about is can we get back from being in Wrath? And having more cards makes that more possible. Alright, so this will let us get back. Or we could go there ahead of time. So... Let's play this out. So Vigilance. Then Tantrum. Then Cut Through Fate. Well, let's see. Do I want to... I'll be in Calm. Let's see what card we get. We get we get something we don't know. We get a battle him. That's not gonna help. Well, we definitely want to fear no evil. We get our flurry back, and then I'm gonna go ahead and miracle a defense because we'll be able to kill you next turn. Took a hit, but that's okay. Tranquility, a free ability to enter Khan. It retains. I like it. Another lack of Ulan. My goodness, why does. Where's Gripen Knob? He doesn't want to fight us. We have four energy because of our happy flower. Let's go ahead and scrawl and see what we get. Okay. So we're going to shuffle our deck, and we're going to get a Vault and a Tantrum. Next turn's going to be okay. We'll, we'll, we're going to need... Let's see. My worry is if I cut through Fate now, and like the two cards I could get would be these two, I don't want to get rid of either of them. But I don't really want either of these two next time. So... It's another one of those times where I wish I had that see your deck in the, in the proper order. <laughs> Our flower is going to be up on the turn after he... Um, the first turn he attacks us. So, that works. Okay. Unfortunately, our flurry of blows went there also. We got our vault, though. We are starting to build up smites. Let's get the Starnet. So, Tantrum. We got a Fear No Evil. That's nice. But I kind of don't want to go... Well, let's see. Our next hand would have potentially another Tantrum in it. Why didn't we get back our flurry? Oh, you weren't attacking. Never mind. Don't know what I was thinking. Still better than playing a vault. Or, I'm sorry, than playing a stray. Here's our happy flower turn. So...
Okay. Stone Calendar. At the end of turn 7, deal 52 damage to all enemies. Very slow. Very powerful. If you are in calm, draw 3 cards, otherwise enter calm. Or Consecrate, which is our first AoE card we've seen. Or, kinda. I'd... <laughs> Tricky hand. Let's see what the event is. Give money, attain a relic, lose inner peace, obtain a relic, or lose a fire potion. You know, I'll give up one of our fire potions. We get nunchaku. More attacks equals an energy. He just drank a fire potion, by the way. I'm just going to point that out. Okay. We have had so few chances to upgrade. This would make that zero cost. So with that, so with that, more card draw, more damage, more damage. Yeah, Hexaghost is what he's called. So he laid, he lights, okay, the first, okay, we're about to get smacked, like, real hard. We, because, um, he, his first attack is based on how much health you have, and we have a lot of health. So we should be setting up a turn to get lots of defense next time, if at all possible. So vigilance, like water. I'll probably want to play this, see, he's going to do six by six. We can vault. If we want. Well, blurry. And let's scroll. Um. It's tempting to just to play this miracle now so that we draw another card. And we're almost. Well, no, we're not going to want to defend this turn because we're going to vault. It's next turn that we're going to want to defend. Although it depends very much on what kind of a card we, what kind of a draw we get. Let's see what we see. Okay. Um, so right now we're going to, our next hand is going to be defend, defend, fear no evil. And a battle in. I think that's worth vaulting. We're going to be able to get back in. I don't want to rush down because I don't want to draw cards. Either that or that. Or through that. So what would I do? I'd tantrum, strike, strike. And that's it. Tantrum, strike, strike, vault. So our, our one extra energy was useless. Or we could rush down then, so that next time we go into Vault, it'll... Next time we go into Rush Down. Next time we go into Wrath, it'll be good. We got our Flurry back. Which is definitely good for our Shuriken. Our, it's, that's going to be so powerful, like, just getting a random zero-cost attack all the time. But look at him now, he's doing 12 times 6. This is how I die, because I think I'm not... I think I'm going to be able to find my way back into Calm, and I'm wrong. So, it's worth keeping in mind. Tantrum throws it back into your draw pile. So, we're going to get that next turn. Okay. So, strike. Strike. Rush down. Vault. Do I want to play games with going into Calm now? I think not. I think let's just go ahead, Tantrum. We'll fear no evil. And then we'll just start playing defense. Let's 
Let's play our skill. Let's maybe we'll get some more block. Enter divinity, die next turn. <laughs> this would have been good to have back when we were still in um in wrath. It's only worth three block now, but oh well. Better than nothing. Okay. Okay, so he alternates between doing six damage um, multiple times based on how many fires he has lit, and it'll slowly light more fires. So, would we be able to get back into tranquility this time? Yes, by or back into calm with tranquility. Let's see what we're going to be drawing cards when we go into wrath. There's our way back. Let's cut through fate. Uh, strike. Oh, I ran Chuck who played. I didn't even see it. So... To strike, strike, or to get our... Or to get our battle hem in play. Like so far, we've done a lot of his damage without without needing those strikes, but they're very helpful, the smites. Like if I had a smite this turn, I'd be playing that instead of a strike. I think I'll get that. Okay. So we six times two this time. Let's erupt. Flurry of blows. We can halt, which will give us a bunch of block. We could tantrum again. And he's dead. Oof. Okay, so we have Ragnarok. Deal five damage to a random enemy five times. So three energy card that deals quite a bit of damage. And if you get it during um you know during divinity, that's fifteen five times. Devotion at the start of your turn gain two mantra, which will move you into divinity. Or alpha. Alpha it turns into a beta. Beta turns into an Omega. Omega is a power that puts a 50 damage per turn AoE on all enemies every turn. But it takes 6 energy to get it out. Once you get it out, it's damn powerful. Like, that's how you... The fight's done. You just gotta block the rest of the, of the turn. Divinity is... So, what we've been doing is we've been dancing in and out of Wrath. Wrath is um, is double damage, and because we're dancing out of Calm, we're getting um, two energy. Divinity is three energy and triple damage. But basically we play this, and five turns later we enter it. Or, if, um, or four turns later if we upgrade it. If we get it, I'm going to Alpha. I think this is kind of... Hmm. We haven't gotten any other way AoE. And this is kind of going to be our answer to how to survive an AoE fight. The trouble is that it's shuffling the card into your draw pile. So once you're, as your deck gets bigger, it gets harder and harder to get into your draw pile. And you might end up with your alpha like really low... Which means that your 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 beta would then um, be drawn immediately. Well, that wouldn't be terrible. The worry is always you get to get it into your discard, and then you have to wait for a full shuffle again. I'm gonna try alpha. Okay. Tiny house. Obtain a potion. Gain gold. Bad. Remove two cards. 
or fusion hammer, you can no longer smith at rest sites. Now, our deck has exactly one upgraded card. What does this even upgrade to? It makes it innate. That's, that's pretty damn good. We've just had terrible luck. At, we, we, we went strong for elite fights. And because of that, we have no upgrades except for Vault and Scrawl. I mean, those are the those are the two I'd pick, but like eruption, that'd be a great upgrade. But a fourth energy is just so powerful, especially when we're we're playing kind of bursty damage. So that's it's painful to do. But that. That definitely sets the tone for the rest of the run. We are now elite hunting, because the only way we can get stronger is getting more relics. We can't, and, and getting better cards, of course, but elites will also give us better selection of cards. We can't make our existing cards stronger. So very tempting to go for the super elite, instead of having to deal with an act five super elite. Where does that leave us? That would leave us with only one elite the entire map. We can work our way back towards this rest. Which, again, would just be for getting health back. Alternatively, we could fight two elites this way. Yeah, this is a weird map. There's no way to fight more than two elites. Not on any path. Now uh, we have money, so we don't need to go to both of those shops, although if we do go to both those shops we might find more likely to find something. It's about how disciplined we are at this shop and not jumping on a good thing but not the best thing. Or we could take this path and just skip that shop and potentially find, um, potentially have more money to spend and also an event. I think I'll go to both shops. So let's let's see how that works. So enemies like this that hit for one damage many times, getting stuck in wrath form would be super bad for them. <laughs> so we're gonna have to be very careful in this fight. It would it just it's a real multiplier on their damage. I guess it's a multiplier on all damage. That, maybe that's the wrong way of putting that. I wish we had our tour gate. That would make these pretty, pretty easy. I think what I just said didn't make any sense, so ignore me. Let's let's cut through fate and see what we get. Uh, which one of you? You're the weak one. We would get a scrawl and a vigilance. We don't have a way except for burning our tranquility. Do I want to discard the scrawl? If we get the scrawl, we'll get the vigilance from the scrawl. Let's burn our miracle. We're going to want to like water. We're probably going to want to defend. Nah. Okay, flurry. So we're going to go into Vigilance somehow, and that will give us another Flurry back. So that that guy will be down. So we need 12 block total. I'm not going to erupt. We already have 5 block. We'll get 8 block from that, so we're covered. We can just, we can spend, we can do 2 strikes, and that will be fine. Let's do you and you. We can do 3 strikes. Okay. There's our alpha. Though in this fight, I think it's going to be done before we have to bother. Let's draw three cards.
what would we draw? We would get rush down and vault. Yeah, it's gonna be done before then. So Okay. I'm going to... I don't think we need to draw more cards right now, so I don't think I want Rushdown. Too bad we don't have Battle Hem up. Okay. A third eye, gain block and scry. Or empty body, exit stance, in-game block. I I know this is upgraded. And scrying is super useful. But being able to leave stance... I don't know, I'm... I'm, I'm going to take a third eye. So he's going to have 60 block next turn. And then he's going to hit me for 11. And then he's going to hit me for 22. Let's try to do an Alpha, Beta, Omega. Is our vault? Sure. There's the beta. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going to have enough energy to do an Omega this time, so I, I'm reluctant to scrawl. That would be the best way to do it, though. Let's get a battle hem out and some defense. Yeah, it's too bad. If we could play that card for free, it would be pretty powerful. And we didn't get the Omega. At the end of your turn, deal 50 damage to all enemies as a power. It does it all the time. Well, we can guarantee that we draw it with Cut Through Fate. Oh, I should explain that. When I'm scrying, I'm seeing my next five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And I can click on them to make it so that they go straight to my discard pile. So now I'm going to get the Omega on my next draw. But then we won't be able to afford it unless we Tantrum. Then we could Tranquility back again. That would work. Uh... We don't have draw cards. Yeah. Here. So, Tantrum. Oh, we got an Unchuck of two. That's convenient. Omega. And then back into Calm. Another flurry. I kind of don't need another flurry. I'm not feeling it. Like it would, it would interface well with our shuriken. 
that's why I might want to do it. Sure. But we're at a point where I'm worried about cluttering up our deck. Let's see what's in this shop. Remember, be disciplined. We don't. We can always go to this shop and get more stuff. Okay. We have a protect. That's pretty powerful. Whenever you play an attack, gain a temporary dex. That's an interesting card. Interesting relic. So it favors. It lets you like, like uh do a couple smites and then your next defend is more powerful the problem with duplication is that it doesn't work well with vault it doesn't work well with scrawl it doesn't work well with all alpha it would work really well with like like water or with doing a burst of damage while we're in wrath oh. it would work great with Ragnarok and Ragnarok is on sale This is another way of entering calm. I'm trying to trying to be disciplined. <laughs> I think I'm going to grab the Ragnarok and leave. I might regret not having the meditate, but there's always potential for good stuff here. Let's do that. Let's do well. Guaranteed money, potential for other things. Receive five apparitions, but lose half your max. Lose lose half your HP. <sighs> this is a hard event. So apparitions are ethereal cards. That means you have to play them, or they go away. You have you gain one intangible, which means that all damage to you is reduced down to one so this would let you stay in wrath forever as long until you have five turns assuming that you draw them you know not all at once and continue to draw at least one turn which scrying will let you do so if we had something that let us scry we could throw away intangibles if we didn't need them apparitions God, I, I just... I don't trust the card. I'm sorry. Like, that would be... A, it's a great way to survive the hard fight, but I don't think we get to the hard fight if we were to do that. We got a bottle. So, bottle of power. We got a wave of the hand. We have a master of reality. Whenever a card is created, upgrade it. We have a Vajra. Now that's actually, I'd say that's the least, that's, this is probably, you know, it's not one of the times we nearly need a Vajra because we have a Shuriken. We're going to have one strength at the end of the first turn anyway, probably, or at the end of the first few turns. Wave of the Hand's pretty awesome. I definitely want to take that. But that would prevent us from being able to get the bottle. What would be bottle? Like, none of our powers are that good. We don't have a Deva form. A Deva form, I would definitely bottle. But we don't have one. Master of Reality is a pretty awesome card. And if we bottled it, it would be cheap. If we upgrade it. And we are creating cards every turn. I mean, we, we're we commonly creating um, those smites. <sighs> the problem is, all that's going to do with the smites is make them hit harder. And 
we've been solving our problems by killing enemies before they get strong enough to kill us. And that's not going to work long term. That worked in Act 1. We need more block. We need more survivability. I'm going to take the wave of the hand. Which means we don't have the bottle. It's very sad. Do I want a med kit? Not really. Do I want anything else here? Like, the Master of Reality is not a bad card just by itself. Even unbottled. <sighs> or we could remove something. Make it more likely to get to our good cards. Or we could always just take the Vajra. I mean, one strength is one strength. <laughs> Let's get rid of a smite. Alright, we're going for the Super Elite. We can't upgrade our cards, we don't need to rest, so let's recall. Okay. Because he's a Super Elite, he has more health. We gained an extra 41 health. He hits really hard. Every time he hits me, he gives me a wound. We have a Vault first turn, so that's probably going to be our plan. There's the Ragnarok. <laughs> um, let's scry. Get rid of all those. Or should I keep the smite or the rush down? Uh, this is hard. We have this 24 damage attack coming. <laughs> that we are not prepared for. Like, I don't want to Ragnarok this turn. That would be a bad idea. My bad ideas are calling to me. <laughs> Alright, so we get a skill vault, or we get divinity. Can we kill him this turn? <laughs> um, if we had triple damage, we could Ragnarok. Um, we could ten... Well, Ragnarok would not kill him this turn. That would do like 150 damage. I'm not willing to trust it. But Vault, another turn after this one. So that would let me definitely Ragnarok this time. What are we drawing next time? I didn't even look. Um, we don't have a way back in a calm. Oh, we have tranquility. Okay. Let's 
We could alpha and omega. Or alpha beta. But we're going to have no block. And I don't think I can kill you this time. That'd be 30. That'd be 52. We get our 14. No, we can't kill you this turn. Do I even want to bother scrawling? Get that wave of the hand? Wave of the hand would be good. So let's scrawl. So we're giving up on the whole Alpha Omega play right now. <clears throat> I guess we could Ragnarok again, actually. Wait a minute, I didn't even realize that. That's that's lucky. So let's let's just count this up. So that's gonna deal four that's gonna deal uh 50, 70 damage, and then that's 30 damage. And then we could just finish you with a fire potion if that if we don't have another one. No, we got him. And there you go. Oof. Okay. See, I don't have like the the mental fortitude to do these things. It's always uh it's always a bit of a challenge. You know, I'm inclined to take this just because I'm really worried about the turns where we're going to not have enough block. And it's going to be crappy block. I mean, it's not very good. But we could retain it for a long time and it would be good, but then that's still not very good. No. We need better better to better block than that. Sneko. So we just killed that guy on one turn, and now we're going to die to Sneko. <laughs> um. We could get... We could do five extra damage if we play our Miracle, but that'd be a waste. So he's made all our cards cost different amounts. So now our alpha is expensive. Potentially, though, that would mean that the beta and omega are really cheap. We do have a vault this time. We're going to keep this tranquility around. Let's see how this plays itself out. Zero cost battle hem. We can wave the hand and then play some block cards. Unfortunately, the beta is end up at the bottom of our deck, so we're going to end up um, with Omega at the bottom of our deck, or in our new shuffle. We do have a way back into Khan. You're only hitting us for 11. We do have this. Uh, we could guarantee that our next card with Cut Through Fate would be beta. And then we could scrawl it out. But it depends on what cost it's going to have. two cost. I might be playing too much into this whole trying to make this work. <laughs> like, I kind of think if I just if I just went tantrum and started smacking him, we'd probably be dead. But... Oh well. There we go. 
there's a joy that comes from getting one of those Omegas to work. <laughs> uh, I want this Protect. That would be nice. A retainable card that gives me 16 block. I mean, it costs 2, but still 16 block. Retainable. That's pretty awesome. Tungsten Rod. Whenever you would lose HP, lose one less. That's a great card. I mean, a great relic. Okay, what path do we want to take? We have no money, so there's really no reason to go there. We could go and do a bunch of, of fights, or we could do two events going this way. We could go and get this, but is there anything else for us to really do at a campfire? Like, I think probably the value of just getting a bit of extra gold from another monster fight would be worth skipping the campfire. Let's go and do events. What do I seek? So I can just burn a bunch of health? You know, now, now I wish I'd gone the other way, because that would... Then we could just... Then we could uh, get all our health back by resting. Give me a cut of this card. What was it? Enlightenment. Not bad. How do I leave? Like, we're not, we're already past the point where we could choose to go to the shop, right? Yeah. We don't have he good healing. That's my problem. We have a blood vial, but that's it. I think we're just gonna go ahead and take the damage. Take the, take, take the loss. The tungsten rod was protecting us from that a little bit, so we only took 10 damage from that. But still, I'm not sure the color of this card was worth it. What an interesting starting hand. Um, it's not like there's a lot of challenge to this turn. <laughs> okay, that covers it. I'm going to go ahead and get in calm just because it's good to be in calm. And we have energy to burn. So we do have a Tungsten Rod. So if we don't block him at all, he won't actually deal damage to us. And Ragnarok has a decent chance of knocking him out of the air. It did not. Suffer me now. And all that. Nobody is attacking, so these are a bit of a waste. So he does this thing where every time we play something that's not an attack, we get dazed. So it's a little annoying. Really? That struck me as kind of a weak draw. We're going to get a Vigilance next turn. Probably.
All right. Another Ragnarok if you want it, or another inner piece. I just, we already got a Ragnarok. We're not gonna be able to play two in a single turn. It's not that vital that we get it at the right time. Okay, um, we're not going to be able to beat this guy down right away, so we're going to end up having to defend against him, but we could probably kill this guy off pretty quick. Any virtue to playing more cards? No. We could hit him for a little tiny bit, but I'd rather keep the protect. Yeah. <sighs> There's our vault. Another Stecco. This would be a great time to draw some cards. But unfortunately, we are unable. Zero cost to Radnorak. <laughs> Zero cost to Eruption. Sneko is... Confusion is very... I don't like it. Like, when Sneko Eye is offered, you have to take it, almost. It's like, it's really good, but I've had really bad hands with Sneko Eye, where you get a whole bunch of, of three and two cost cards, and none of them will save you. Anyway, in this case, we win. And we have this set up nicely to get us a free energy at the beginning of next turn. We have another one of these empty body ones. Do I want to reach heaven? I mean, now that that's already upgraded, it's a bit more... I mean, now it's just like a regular good two-point attack. It's better than a strike, certainly. Sure. So, I don't think we want to tantrum this turn, unfortunately. Which means we just got a bunch of unnecessary energy. But like, like, well, if we were to tantrum right now, we would deal a bunch of damage. We'd have 
no, we'd, ha we'd end up like exiting with like seven, like four or five energy remaining. It's just kind of a waste. At least we got them nice and weak for a few turns. There's our beta. That's our next hand. I think... I think we just kind of wait for this turn to end. <laughs> we'll just we'll just play a, a defend and uh, move on from there. We don't even need to play a defend. We can just do a little bit of damage. There you go. All right. Too bad for you guys that none of you chose to attack this time. That would have been the one thing that would make me give me some pause. So, trade some energy this turn for later turns. Situationally useful, I guess. I really wish I could upgrade. But having that fourth energy is just so powerful. This is going to be another long one. I can tell. <laughs> um, this, this is a good time for this to show up. The interesting thing is that it doesn't show up. It doesn't like give you X miracles. It says over the next X turns, you get a miracle. A miracle plus. I think get, getting turning our regular miracle into a miracle plus is a good thing. So let's do that. Do I want to play anything? Nah. There's a vault. So we can get into Khan. That would have been better on him. Oh well. Can't quite kill that one at the moment. Should I go for alpha play? I kind of want to. Now we're taking a big hit. This is pretty useless. 
Um, this is not a good set of, of skills. Too bad. That helps a little bit. All right. There's a beta. We have our scrawl. We have a miracle. So that means we can get an omega in the play of this turn, I think. It would cost three. We'll take two hits. We'll take these both of those hits. I should have enlightenment. No, I should have waited. That this is fine. Uh, miracle. Scrawl. Do I need a wave of the hand? I don't think so. It'd probably be better. I mean, we have damage. We don't need to spend some time dealing with making Ragnarok work, so... Oh, I didn't even see that Mar. I don't pay attention enough to our charges. I should do that more. Like, I don't think we've I've even noticed if the stone calendar has gone off the entire game. I don't think it has. Yeah, that was great Omega use right there. It even went off once. <laughs> Another vault? Like, how could I not take vault? Snake eye. That's what I was just saying. I don't... Hmm. Hmm. Cursed key is not terrible. <laughs> yeah, the virtue of snake eye. Okay, so Snake Hawaii makes you confused so that randomized cost cards are. so that all cards have randomized costs. The. the virtue of Snake Hawaii is that it gets. lets you draw more cards. So you get two new. two additional cards every turn. And the whole randomizing cost is occasionally good. Like, it would be good to make. like, our Ragnarok cheaper or our vault cheaper it would be bad for everything that's one cost because the average it moves to is 1.5 and it makes there's more variation between turns so sometimes you'll get that awesome turn where like half your hand costs zero and other times you'll get that awful turn where your entire hand is a bunch of three and two cost cards i'm going for the key i mean i just I feel like we're already strong. Like, Sneka would be a great way to become strong if we weren't certain, but I feel strong. Time Eater. Unfortunately, um, our deck is based a bit around playing lots of cards all at once. We don't have, like, a lot of sustained defense. Anyway, I would happily avoid every elite fight, if at all possible. Let's try to minimize them. So I'm thinking this path up to this elite fight, and then take shops all the way up.
I mean, no, you could, you could, okay, you could start down here and just skip it entirely. Interesting. Interesting. At the same time, going to an elite fight, like, our, our plan in the previous was, previous act was all about just hunting elite fights. And if we don't go to elite fights, then what's the point of our, of our banner, our bonfires? We'll judge as we work our way up. reach heaven upgraded I kind of no I feel like we have the damage we need we need weird things we need things that give us like card draw or block I guess block is not weird but I'm not feeling that if we had sneck away I'd take that <laughs> so we just wrecked this uh, one of these we could fight two of them for a rare relic I think that's worth the risk. I mean, it very much depends on our first hand. And getting a scrawl is not a bad start. Interesting. Okay. No really, no real benefit of the Enlightenment because we didn't get any big cards. I guess I, I could have um, scryed first. That was our Nunchaku. I would have, we didn't get a way to enter Wrath, so we can't like just wreck things. But we should be able to get a good protection. Let's see. So we're going to take uh, 21, 37 damage. 27 damage. <laughs> this is why I can't play this class very well. So right now we're not getting any anything at all. This would give us 5. This would push up to 16. 14. Next turn is not going to be good for playing collect. That's they're they're going to attack again hard. This would be a great turn for a uh, wave of the hand, but we don't have it. So, that would be 19. We take a hit. I think I'm okay with that. I want to preserve our protect. Or, no, we're at, we're at 24. Which is, that's a small hit. Okay. Now we have our way with the hand where it won't do any good. All our good cards are hidden at the back. Like, we don't even have a way to enter Wrath. <laughs> um, wave of the Hand, we definitely want to do. We might be able to draw a good card here. Let's see what we get. We could go into Wrath. 
probably good. There's the alpha. But... It makes me very nervous to go in that direction. As opposed to just trying to kill him. This is my cup runneth over. What do they say? Gambling chip. That's a great first turn. Another like water? That's good. Get some more passive block. And we have we have money. Let's see what we got. We have a Nirvana. Another wave of the hand. Melange. Whenever you shuffle, scry. Whenever, when adding cards, you may raise your axe HP instead. Or remove a card. Or get another protect, potentially. Buy a potion. I don't think I want the singing ball. We just don't have enough cards left in front of us. We're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more chances. So our, our HP could go up to 82 at best. And that would kind of be the worst case where all those cards are bad. And we hope that some of them are good. Instead, duplication card, that might, duplication potion, that might actually save us for some things. Melange is interesting. Whenever you shuffle, you can get rid of the top three cards. I don't even... Hmm. Hmm. Like, would just getting rid of some cards be better than that? Maybe? I don't know. I've never seen this before. I've never had it. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see how it would work. Let's let's give it a try. Lose all gold, attain a relic. I'm glad we spent all our gold. It's kind of a crap relic. Apply one week to all enemies their first turn. It'll strip off an artifact, if nothing else. So... We could go to a campfire and then an elite fight, or we could go to a regular, um, well. Either way, we'll get an event. It's about whether we want to go regular fight elite or campfire elite. We have mostly full health. We can't do anything else at campfires. I guess the virtue would be preserving our nunchucks. So that they'll go off the first turn of the elite. But risk reward, let's go this way. Ah, this is not a good fight. Okay. Gambling chip, so we can discard some cards and get better ones. Skeptical about the whole better ones, but we can get them nicely weak. And then vault. Let's see what our next tan is going to look like. It would have an alpha, a reach heaven, a Ragnarok.
So we're, again, we're facing the point where we have no good way of getting back into, um, into calm. And we're not in calm right now. I guess I might be inclined to go for maybe Alpha, Beta, Omega, instead of trying to hope that we'll all end up in calm the following turn. I mean, it, it becomes more and more likely, but... Let's get rid of these. We'll, we'll play Alpha, definitely. We'll try to get, like, water if possible. I'm not going to erupt, so this is a really wasted turn. Should I protect just to get more weak on them? I kind of don't want to. Okay. So, Alpha. Then we can try to draw some... Oh, well, this would just send us straight into Calm. That's good. Then we can like water and throw up some defense. Oh, our our wave of the hand didn't go away. Interesting. We played that last turn though. That's peculiar. Oh well. The vault is weird. I don't know how vault works. So we want to get that beta, so that we get when we get the scrawl, the scrawl will give us the omega. Let's scry and see what's out there. Vault's right out there. I'll take a vault. <laughs> Okay, um... We can do at least a little bit of damage. A very little amount of damage. And get our shuriken playing. Um, our letter opener will at least do a bit of damage. Okay, this works. So we've got our beta, then we can scroll. That's our melange plan. Get an omega out there. So this one's gonna die, this one's gonna die, this one will not die yet. Now it will. There we go. Another tantrum? That's really tempting. Um, another fear no evil also is also very tempting. I'm definitely going to take one of the two. Which do I want? Like, the virtue of tantrum is that it goes back into your draw pile, so you can just draw it over and over and over again and enter tantrum. Um, and it does a lot of damage when you're in wrath. So... But getting back into calm is the scary part of the game. I'm going to fear no evil. Alright, it's an AoE fight. So right now, we have... We have our scrawl. I would, our fear no evil will get us into calm. And then, like water, will give us some defense. Let's just replace these two and see what we get. There's an eruption. Let's see what's out there. A vault, so. Um, let's get rid of the rest of this. Well, let's keep the inner piece. No, we're not gonna go back into calm 
next turn. Okay. So... We're definitely going to uh, fear no evil. And then erupt. And then we'll scrawl. We're going to take a new turn. We got both our vaults, of all things. Let's use our more expensive one, I guess. Or no, or we could like water and then use our least ex less expensive one. Okay. So I can end the turn in Tantrum because uh, you are, I have this Tranquility. I'm going to put an alpha out there. You never know if it's going to be useful. Are we going to draw cards? No, we're not. So... We're going to have a lot of energy left over at the end. Um, let's just sit here. Okay. And now we have to survive your attack. So let's go back. Or actually, probably we don't, because we're going to be able to flurry, right? So, or no, we're, we're, we're still going to need to. It's just, um, we should be good. Too bad. We came really close to being able to kill you in one turn. Instead, we're going to take a bit of damage. Not in one turn, but you know, in sufficiently many turns. There. Potion belt. I can definitely feel that we're on lower difficulty than on our other playthroughs. We haven't seen a windmill strike or a swivel yet. Um, windmill strike, when retained, increases its damage by five, so you can like distort for a long time until it does a bunch of damage. I'm not a fan. This is a block card that basically says if you have both a block card and another attack, then the attack becomes free. So if that attack happens to be a judgment or whatever, what is it called, Ragnarok, then that's I'd say that's worth it. We have a lot of high cost attacks. Or we have at least the one. <laughs> and I just want to jump on some more block cards. Okay. So these guys give you a heal if you give them a good card. We don't really need a heal. If we give them a bad card, it'll just um it'll just be gone. So let's just give them one of our defends, I think. Like, do I want to give a defend or should I give give a strike? I'm thinking a defend. So we'll be two and three. Okay. So this would be a turn where it would not be terrible to um, use collection at the end of it. Like, this is not a bad starting hand. Let's get rid of the Ragnarok and see what we get instead. 
I, I kind of am not a fan of this inner piece either. As an alpha. Oh, the problem with this is that we can't save two. Because we need to save two for our vault. So this is actually a really bad hand. <laughs> I just didn't realize it at first. That's a shame. Well, let's do what we can with it. Because I would love to be able to turn two of these into, into Miracle Pluses, or three of them even, and then vault, but I can't. Okay. Fear no evil is not going to help me. We don't even ha we do have an attack, but it's not not a great one. Like there's nothing attacking right now, so we don't need to like get rid of a defend. Let's scroll, see what we get. We got an enlightenment. We have a ton of energy. <sighs> but nothing really good to spend it on. It sucks. <laughs> hmm. I misjudged during that first turn. We'll at least be able to get our shuriken with a fear no pain, fear no evil, and a uh, a strike. But other than that, what else is there to do? I guess like water. And then one more block just to proc letter opener. And now we're getting hit for... Look at that! Look at that! That's, that's 55 incoming damage. We could tantrum and turn that into, um, into 110 incoming damage. Let's gamble. Hate to waste the potion. Talk to the hand. That's a great card. Whenever you attack this enemy, gain two block for the rest of combat. It's just an amazing card. Car of Reality is a great card, too, in Act 1. I mean, even now, it's better than a strike, but... Foreign Influence, I just don't even know how to make of it. I mean, I've had a few turn, a few games where I get the Prism, and there's some very powerful cross-class combinations. Like, um, Wraith Form is really good if you have a bunch of Frost Orbs, because then you don't need Dexterity anymore. Um... And, 
Like, uh, all sorts of crazy things can happen when you start getting cards from other classes. But, Talk to the Hand is really good. Okay, we have no money, so that shop isn't worth it. We could go for these two elite fights, or we could bail and go this way. Or we could go double fire, but we don't have anything to do with the fires at the moment. I think I'm going to set up for the double elite fight, and then we might bail if, the, if one of them goes poorly. If the first one goes poorly. We get cursed, and we get peace pipe. Hey, now we can actually do things our rest site. Too late. We already set our course. Nemesis. So, as a first hand, he's not going to do anything to us. We are. This is a way of getting into calm, so we don't really need vigilance. So, our first hand would be inner peace to get into calm, then rush down, and then just Ragnarok to do some damage. And we'll have a flurry, sure. We can hit him twice with that. He's intangible. He's hitting us for quite a bit of, of damage. I almost said a bunch of money. <laughs> This might not be a good time to try to do the whole alpha beta thing, because even when we get it up, that turn might not work, you know? It'll work eventually, like, it'll work eventually against everything, but it might be better just to go for a strong wrath play. This does nothing. It would. It wouldn't even proc our shuriken. But it'll make us one closer to Nunchaku. <laughs> We're gonna be taking one hit. Oh well. Oh no, we're not because of our tungsten rod. For, always forget about the rod. So this is not a great turn. Let's just... Let's see. We don't have a way to get back into calm for his attack next turn. We could do us some damage, though. Hey, we got a vault. Never mind. Oh, I should have talked to the hand. I'm an idiot. Again, we can't use Collect because of our Vault. So we'll just hit him for some damage. Another Vault. So this is done, pretty much. Regal Pillow? So we can get some nice sleep. Empty mind. Exit stance. Draw three cards. Not terrible. It's that or skip. I'm going to take it. It'll make me more willing to jump into um, to Wrath.
so this is a good opportunity to do some alpha, beta, omega play, I think. Where we start with a scrawl. Like, next turn is going to hit us really hard. There's a vault. So we can't get our beta and our vault at the same time. That's unfortunate. It might be better. I think we're, st I'm gonna go for the vault. I'm sorry, I'm going for the beta. So we're gonna, he's gonna get a chance to have a turn. <laughs> it's a shame, but what can you do? Wave of the hand and talk to the hand in combination together are so damn amazing, but we just don't have the energy to make it work. Oh, interesting. He's not hitting me for a bunch. I thought he was going to hit me for, like, a huge amount. Huh. like it's a our omega must be down at the very bottom of the pile he's about to buff himself oh that was a bit of a waste I didn't see that we were about to get a free energy. I never think to look. Oh well. There's our Omega. Here's the big hit coming. Um, not a lot of attacking cards this time, unfortunately. So we're actually, no we're not. Um, I always think we're going to take more damage and we don't. Because I always forget about the, like, waters. Another Reptomancer.
Unfortunately, this doesn't have much virtue to it because we don't have enough energy to or cards to we could draw cards We don't really need to Win in hand, lose one HP whenever you play in our card. I have not been even noticing that. I was like, why did that suddenly flare as if I'd, it, I'd gotten some benefit from it? It's because of the pain card. I thought that was just an undrawable. Injury is like that. Or an unplayable. <clears throat> My bad. Okay, there's the Omega. And we can get away with playing it because you're summoning more guys. Anchor, starting to combat with 10 block. It's not terrible. At the start of your turn, scry four. That is really good. I'm taking that, no question. Empty Fist was good too, but scrying for it would be really helpful. I don't like this fight. not the best hand, but it's fine. We're getting a bunch of cards out of the way. Though I should have rushed down, perhaps. Oh well. And unfortunately, we're taking some damage this turn. Huh. Yeah, it just didn't quite work out the way I was hoping. That's that's 
kill one so we don't take as much damage. Okay, um... This is not a good time for collecting. Oh, I should have Flurry of Blowed. Flurry of Blows. Flurry of Blows? I don't know what the proper way to refer to that is. Am I really one point away from being able to kill you? Did I screw that up that badly? <laughs> okay. Um, well... Math. Math is tricky. There you go. Sanctity. If the last card was a skill, draw two cards. Interesting. Sure. I probably don't skip enough. Like, I, I should get to the point where I know I've got a good hand and I just am happy to play it instead of playing around. I begin to fall. What can I lose? Lose an Alpha? Lose a Battle Hem? Or lose a Ragnarok? No? Let's lose the Battle Hem, I guess. That's a sad day. And we can also remove... A strike? Oh, what am I thinking? I should have removed the curse. <laughs> oh, oh well. I don't think we've encountered him in the other, um, my other ones I was recording. Uh, we'll deal with, let me just figure out what I want to play. So, talk to the hand early is great. He is attacking, so we'll be in calm. This would give us some block, some block. That's more block. It's not a bad starting hand. There's no scaling. Let's just get rid of the one defend. And right now, we don't really need that miracle either. We might be able to grab something better. Nope. Okay. So, his deal. Every time you play 12 cards... It forces your turn to end, and then he gets two strength. He starts out hitting for 18, and then he gets his two strength, and now he's hitting for um, for eight times three, and then 10 times three, and so on like that. So he just very slowly scales up as you play anything. So one way to... So we need to scale similarly on our side. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead... Well, I kind of want to... Hmm. It would be so good to save this for the heart, but I'm not sure we're going to get to the heart. So I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and duplicate talking to the hand. So now whenever we hit him, we get four block. Just passively. We can swivel into an eruption and then fear no evil back. Now we've got a ton of defense. We could play this scry to get a better turn next time, but I'm worried about incrementing his time warp too much. We don't need the block from it, so we are probably didn't need to play as much as we did this turn. Oh, well, now he's doing eight times three, so he does scale up. Foresight is really good. 
we're definitely going to get that out there. These are just not the cards we need to survive this turn. Give me some more cards, please. There's a vault. Give me some more cards, please. There's an alpha. And then I screwed up our vault. Great. Um, I can fix this. Now we have one card to play this turn. <laughs> that was not the wisest thing to do. And now we're not even in a stance. Well, it's not going to be Scrawl. Like, let's just get that one discarded. It's, it'll tempt us to keep doing stuff. I did not time that well. I did that very poorly. I should not have, um... I should have just taken the, the, um... I should have just not bothered with the vault. The vault was not, um, not necessary. Omega will kill him for us if we can just survive. That was a waste. Didn't need to do that. Okay, he's defending, so we have an actual uh, turn to not do anything, probably. <laughs> probably better just not to worry about increment, um, getting him stronger. So what's our next hand going to look like? It's going to be a Miracle, a Flurry of Blow, Blows. We'll have a Wave of the Hand. That will be convenient. So Wave of the Hand and Vigilance. If we can get like some number of those out, will help. You're only going to have two cards. So... He's not buffing, though. Uh, he, he's buffing. He's not, uh, he's not making himself stronger. Oh, he's going to heal himself, of course. Uh, when he gets to half health, he heals. Back to half health. So we have a turn to... Um, just recover a bit. Maybe put... Uh, well, we only have two cards to play. <laughs> um, I 
Okay, now he's hitting for 12 times 3. Why are we getting so much? Oh, it's it's because whenever it's once when it shuffles and then once at the beginning of your turn. I was like, why are we being able to scry so much? <laughs> um. He got rid of his um, talk to the hand also. Didn't even realize that. This is gonna hurt. We're done. Okay. Okay. That's good enough. Yeah, I'm... I'm I'm a little unconvinced. I'm not sure that was the right way to approach that. I might have been better just to do our normal um, stance dancing into Wrath to do a bunch of damage like we had been doing prior. But, oh well. that It worked. If it works, it's good enough. What do you got for me? You've got a Deva farm that I can, I'm one gold away from being able to afford. Oh, <laughs> and look at that! I'm one, I'm two gold away from being able to get a whetstone, and or three from a whetstone, two from a a souvenir, a clockwork. <laughs> Do you have a look at that card. So at the start of your turn, get additional energy. At the start of your next turn, get two. At the start of your following turn, three, and so on, until you're getting like fifty, or well, more like seven or eight extra energy per turn. And then you win the fight. Is there anything I want to do here? <laughs> like I like Master of Strategy is good, but I can't afford it. A stance potion, or removing a card. I'm gonna stance potion, just you know, might get us out of trouble. And then throw on some extra block, perhaps. Oh, right. So the second turn is the dangerous one. Let's see what we get. I mean, Ragnarok is really good. I feel bad giving it away. But 
but it's not gonna it's not gonna win the fight neither is that strike <laughs> um, and we can't even get into we could stance form but uh, we got a vault coming up next turn that's gonna be big help And an enlightenment at the same time. Again, huge help. Okay. So this is the dangerous turn. 60 damage from you, or 21 from you. Well, enlightenment to get cards cheaper. Not that it matters that much. That's not going to help us at all. Yeah, kind of the. This part of the enlightenment didn't help that much. Or this part of the... Uh, what am I saying? I hate to give away the blocks if I don't know what else I'm going to get. But... Yeah... We got another vault. Okay, that's nice. Alpha, we could do some alpha, alpha, beta, gamma, alpha, beta, omega play. Um, we still don't have any block. <laughs> That's the issue. There's the Omega. I think we kind of have to go for it. Get some block. So we get Tantrum, that would give us two energy, then we can go back into Vigilance and get some more block. And that would hit three times, that would get us for six more block. More Flurries. And we got our Nunchaku in play, so that gave us even more. <clears throat> Let's third, um, well... Let's just defend. No, that's the third eye, of course. And then... Vigilance. 
That was a very interesting turn. I think we played like like maybe 12, 15 cars there. <laughs> and then we had two vaults between them. And we're still taking damage. Uh, we'll be at 62. You're doing 60. You're doing 61. 61, okay. We managed to do it all. And you're even going to die next turn. So It looked like we still took a hit there. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, we don't have any way to turn around. Unless this guy dies. Good. And we're going to get hit for a decent chunk here. Is there anything I can do about it? Unfortunately, no. We need to get one more damage, and we didn't get it. <clears throat> oh, we had a burn in our hand. That's what that's what procked our tungsten rod. If we had both of these, if this was upgraded, then we would get our letter opener to do it, but we don't. So, we're going to take a hit. Yeah. Oh, well. Conclude. Deal 12 damage to all enemies and end your turn. That would have been amazing three acts ago. Alright, so we have a block potion. I probably should have used that last time. Oh well. We have draw three cards, draw three cards. We can switch stances as at need. He's not attacking us this first turn, so... Fear no evils are, are less useful because of that. Alright. <sighs> um... And then we could empty hand and draw cards and not be in the stance anymore. There's an alpha. There's the talk to the hand I was looking for. Okay. Um... Bad. I should have waved the, waved to the hand first. I'm giving up on the alpha, I guess. Like I kind of feel that might lead us in the wrong direction. Uh, 
got a vault. He's about to hit us for 50. I should have vigilanced and vaulted. I didn't think about the void. Are we gonna survive this hit? I mean, we're not gonna die because we have enough health, but can we do it better? <laughs> um, let's draw some cards. There's a Ragnarok and a Swivel. Oh, I should have flurried. Oh well, my bad. <sighs> Let's draw cards, see if we can get something to save us. There's the vault we wanted. Ah, oh, we can. We can do it. Nice. Okay, um... Too bad we kind of built up a bunch of block this turn. <laughs> but it wasn't the right... It, it, we would have been in the wrong stance at the end of it. And next turn... We have a way of getting back to calm. Let's get rushed down out, I guess. <clears throat> I think we're going to end up with less um, defense this time. So... Like, Ragnarok would would deal a ton of damage, and then it would give us 15 block, or 10 block. But is that worth it, considering what's about to hit us? I think not. So, too bad. Yeah, I think we're committed to just getting a bunch of defense out. Actually, well, no, we have no idea what's next. Yeah, and that's that's block potion also. Bad draw. This is well, it's gonna hit me for fifteen because a uh, tungsten rod will make it so it only hits for for uh, 15, 1 instead of 2 after it gets through our block which we will have we'll have some block
Okay. He's buffing himself. Unfortunately, we don't have anything that will let us draw more cards. Uh, actually, we're going to draw cards from this, aren't we? Yeah. So that might help. Maybe. still have our stance potion, so it would not be terrible to to leave this turn in Wrath. It won't, like, screw us over for next time. I keep forgetting the... with those, that's, that's a waste. What is that? The tantrum? almost hitting his invincibility you can't kill him you can't do like what I've been doing and just like get a turn with like a bazillion smites and just uh, smack them down all at once with deviform or whatever you have to do um, three or uh, it has to happen over three turns and as his as he gets stronger as you go up in ascension uh, it has to happen over four turns so I'm going to fear no evil and then like water because the other ones are going to just run into that. All right. <sighs> now, we could potentially kill him this turn if um I mean he's if we get a good hand. He's going to hit us for 94. That's not, you know, too terrible. <laughs> um, it's pretty bad. We're going to hit him for 52 at the end of the turn, so we don't need to get that far into it. We have quite a bit of strength because we've been smacking him all this time. Um, Do I want a Vigilance? I suppose. We're not going to die this turn. We're going to get hit for only about 11. And then um, this will go off and not kill them. But next turn we should be able to kill them. We're not going to want those. Yeah, there you go. Nice. 
didn't expect a hard kill. I have trouble with this class. Good God, that took three hours. <laughs> See, the other classes, I, I feel like I can... I either know what to do, or I know I can't do it, or I know the cards to pick. Whereas this one, I'm constantly having to calculate, you know, to try to decide what the proper thing to do is. Two hours, 50 minutes. C -c -c Combo. Play 20 cards in a single turn. I remember that turn. <laughs> um, we did kill quite a bunch of champions. It was such low ascension. That was the, the reason we were able to do it. I felt if that heart fight had got on longer, I think we would have been able to continue. Maybe not another big slam, but another like hit for uh, 3 for 15. We could have survived that. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. So that's all four classes. Not all completed with all four classes. We might go back and try to do another Ironclad and Silent Run. Just so we can get heart kills. Or progress our um, Ascension levels and do it where it actually counts. <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching let me know what I should have done better this is a class where I feel certain that I am making mistakes like I constantly I, I, do, I wanted to know do I go for the Omega or do I go for just our wrath play like we had been doing we never even entered divinity that entire run yeah let me know what 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 I should do better so thank you everyone for watching. Till next time.